confirming with us tonight that the woman has died. And neighbors say that the woman and suspect lived in this home together for about six years in Stringwood and that they would have never imagined he'd be connected to such a heinous crime. That scares me. I learned now that I'm probably not going to put my chest into people the way I did before. This home in Stringwood on Sumac Drive sits empty tonight, surrounded with neighbors left stunned and upset after police swarmed the residence earlier today. Investigators say the man and woman who lived here were persons of interest in the murder of a family of four, including two young sons, in Romeoville on Sunday. This photo of the family was posted on victim Alberto Rolone's Facebook page. I can't believe something that would happen, and especially a whole family, you wipe out a family. Evidence has shown us uh, a nexus between our suspect and the victims, as well as a possible motive. Police identified the suspect in the murder as Nathaniel Huey Jr., the 31-year-old man who they believe was found shot and killed today in this burned-out SUV on an Oklahoma interstate. It crashed after a police pursuit in Catoosa, just outside of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Another woman in the truck was also found shot in her head. The woman was identified by an attorney representing her family as Irma Linda Palomo, and that attorney tells us that she later died. He says her family reported her missing last night when her phone was shut off after she sent concerning text messages. And they thought that she sounded scared. Okay, but they, they don't have any direct information other than take care of my grandbabies. Palomo's family attorney says he's not aware of Palomo's involvement with the family in Romeoville. The police identified her as a person of interest. Okay, well, she's a victim. Um, just like the Romeville family is a victim. According to internal investigative reports obtained by the EBC 719, police knew Nathaniel Huey was a suspect early on. Shortly after the victims were found, police put out a statewide alert for Huey and the car he was driving. The same one authorities chased in Oklahoma today. Huey was described by police working the case as irrational and erratic with extensive firearms training. The I team also learned he was the owner of a security company whose advertising depicts numerous guns, including one with an apparent silencer. Tonight, the family of victim Zoraida Bartolome shared this statement on a relative's Facebook page. It says in part, quote, We want to express our heartfelt gratitude for the outpouring of solidarity and support following the tragic loss. At this moment, our primary focus is on channeling support, assistance, and love for our family and loved ones.